So the question is, how do I deal with the wax moving around on my board? First of all, when you're waxing your board up, there's a couple of key things. Because unlike surfing, we're standing on our board the entire time, we're kiting, we tend to move the wax around a lot quicker and it heats up a lot more. So what I do is, I make sure that I have a really good base coat, first of all, on my board, and then I'll always wax over that base coat. You want to use tropical wax because it's the hardest wax and it's going to last the longest under your feet, especially heating up. The other thing that you can do, and which I do, is I always have like a little bit of wax in my pocket. So for those long sessions, I can quickly jump off my board in the water and just give it a very quick wax and keep filling up that little hole. I have exactly the same thing happen when I'm tacking up wind, I wear a little hole out in my wax and it starts becoming slippery. Every 45 minutes or hour or so, I just give that a little wax and that keeps me going. Sorry? So the, que so the question is, when I'm waxing my board up and I'm out in the water, what, I, what do I do with the kite? Yeah, in the barrel, yeah. You, you haven't done that? <laughs> I actually do wax my board while I'm going along, but <laughs> the, the, best way, the, the best way to get started in terms of where to put your kite while you're waxing your board is <laughs> you can just jump off your board, keep your kite at 12 o'clock, and wax it up that way while you're just sitting in the water. Or bring your kite down all the way to the water so it just sits in the water, obviously away from the waves, away from anybody else, and it will just sit there while you've got pressure on it, like you're just about to relaunch it out of the water. Then you just wax your board and then you relaunch the kite and go again. The second of the two is the easiest thing to do because you don't have to worry about focusing on the kite while you're waxing your board and there's less chance that you can hurt yourself or you know, there's, there's basically less risk. While you're doing it, you can lose focus and your kite can fall to one side and you can pull it or whatever. So there's two different ways or different techniques that you can do it. Okay, so the question is whether to use wax or pads on your board. What I like is I love a tail pad because I love the kick in a tail pad, I know that's perfectly situated where my foot needs to be when I'm performance surfing. And also too, when I'm jamming turns, it's something to lock my foot against. I like wax up here on the front of my board because for me, I love the feeling and sensation of just having my, my foot in wax. It feels uh, the most refined on my board. I, I feel like I get the best sensation out of the surfing and it's what feels best for me. Also too, another reason why I don't have a front pad here as well is because I surf the same boards that I kite. If I have a front pad here, every time I go to stand up, it tears my knees and it's very uncomfortable. However, it's personal preference. I know lots of guys that like to ride with a front pad up here. It's more comfortable for them. You need to try both. You need to figure out what works best for you. But absolutely, if you're planning on surfing, the same board that you're kiting, don't put a front pad up there because it'll tear your knee apart. If you're wearing a wetsuit, it will tear your wetsuit apart. 